Papers front page of the Times today. David Davis, former Shadow Home Secretary, suggests all police officers should wear cameras and microphones routinely. Uh, actually, I agree with him. Um, I accept, well, I say in principle, I agree. And I was saying to you, I've been to America, and they're having the same debate. You know, should they give all their officers video cams? So I think in principle, it's good. It makes you open. It makes you accountable. And then if something's said afterwards, you can check. I think the only issues we've all got to work through, and the Americans are having exactly the same debate. If I, as a police officer, am walking in the street and I bump into you walking with your child, do I, and I've got this camera on, do I have it on all the time? Do the fact do I have to say, look, we, you know, our conversation be recorded? Concern is that a police officer just talking as a member to a member of the public, nobody really do they really want to record that? But of course, if you turn it off, sometimes when do you turn it on? There is issues of logistics. You know, if you take, you know, if officers are all day, every day, this is huge gigabytes, terabytes, whatever they're called, of data. You've got to store it. Costs money. Probably as importantly, defence lawyers and litigators will say, well, you were walking down the street that day, what have you got? We have a duty then to find it, so we've got to index it. And then you've got the issue of consent. If I come into your house and you're a burglary victim, this camera will record all that you've got in your house. And then if somebody on an FOI request, a freedom of information request, say, I'd like to see it, do we then have to share it? So I think, first of all... How do they all, handle all of this in the States? They haven't Commission. resolved it yet. They haven't. They're still no, working through. They do what we're doing. We, in the Met, we're having a, a pilot over the next few months, which has got about 400 officers who are going to wear these things. We already get one or two out there doing it. But I think we're all approaching it with some care, not because we don't want to do it, but because in doing it, we have to make sure we do it well, and it has to be tested in the courts as well. So it's, I think, in principle, it's a good thing. Mr Davis said it would end uh, decades of clumsy cover-ups, Commissioner. Well, clearly he's got a particular view, obviously, I, I know, um, around the, the Plebgate issue, and I understand that. The point I agree with him entirely is, if we've got nothing to hide, let's be open. Let's just be clear, it doesn't change the nature of the relationship with the public. And do, do we need a royal commission into policing, as David Davis suggests? Well, I'm open-minded to that. I think it's something that, first of all, I think if it's about the Plebgate issue and also if you think about Hillsborough, then I think you need a cool, clear re reflection at the end of this issue to see whether or not that's needed, because some of these things are very old, some are more recent. Do we need one? Number two is, if you are going to have a review of the police, is the royal commission the best vehicle? Governments over the years have fought shy of them. One reason, they take too long. And number two, by the time they report, the government's gone. So it's a good way of shoving things into the long grass, frankly. So I think if there is a review needed, a Royal Commission may be the right vehicle, there may be other ideas. But I think the first thing you've got to decide on a cool reflection, this is what governments are for, is whether or not there's that need. There's clearly some present contemporary concerns, but you've got to take a deep judgment about these things.